Welcome and thank you for purchasing this Pinstroke Productions videotape. We are getting ready for the 100 lap main event, but first we got heat races, four late model heat races, sportsman heat races, and then a full program of street stocks. Uh, then uh, one last chance race for the sportsman, two last chance races for the late models, and then a 40 lap feature for the sportsman and a 100 lap main event for the late models, 15,000 to win. Now your lineup. For the heat race, number one on the pole, car number 98 is Mike Denny. Then it's the 11 of Dick Dunleavy, Jr. 92 is Donnie Renner and the four of Scott Baker. They make up row number two. The six of Jerry Mitchell and the 43 of Wilbur Roby in row number three. Row number four is Kenny Sward in the 77 machine and the 10 of Stan Perry. Five is Randy Van Zant and out back, car number 19, Carlton Smith. One lap, and we will be racing for the first late model heat race. Two cars will transfer to the 100 lap main event. Everybody else will go into the last chance races. Green flag comes out, and we are racing. Dick Dunleavy Jr. beats everybody to turn number one. Good battle for the second position. And now Dunleavy slows down the back straightaway. And we get a caution flag that comes right back out. We'll get them relined back up and we'll get a green flag as they come out of turn number four. They pick up the throttle and we are racing. Dick Dunleavy Jr. once again, your early leader. Good battle for that second position. The 98 of Mike Denny. Outside of him, the four, Scott Baker. Dick Dunleavy Jr., your leader of the four. Scott Baker runs in second. 98. Mike Denny. Inside. Now the car on the outside, which is, I can't quite tell, it's Donnie Renner on the 92, running third now, 77 of Kenny Sward holds down that fourth position. And Denny slides and spins in turn number two. Mike Denny in the 98 machine. Caution flight comes out as Mike Denny stopped over there in turn two. Everybody gets it low down in time. White flag, one more lap, we'll be back to racing. It's Dick Dunleavy Jr., your leader, Scott Baker, running in second. And third is the 92 of Donnie Renner. They pick up the throne, they go into turn number three, now coming through turn number four. Green flag flies, and we are back to racing. Dick Dunleavy Jr., still your leader. Scott Baker running in second, 92. Donnie Renner runs third. Dick Dunleavy Jr., your leader, car number four, Scott Baker, still running in second. Baker, come right in on the back bumper of Dunleavy, trying to find a way around and take over the lead in this race. Those two cars do transfer. They want to be careful and not fight for the lead and knock themselves out of the 100 lap main event. $15,000 to win this year. $1,000 just to start. More money than you guys see on a weekly race, racing feature just to start the main event this year. Sward looks underneath Renner for that third position. Kenny Sward, Donnie Renner run side by side. Still side by side, Kenny Sward, Donnie Renner for that third position. Now Renner looking to the high side of Scott Baker. has the advantage on Baker. Going to turn three and four. They're still side by side all the way around the track. Dick Dunleavy Jr. still leading it. Donnie Renner on the outside. Scott Baker on the inside. Now Renner looking to the high side of Dunleavy once again.
Renner now with second. He still looks to the outside of Dunleavy down the back straightaway. Here comes Baker back down the front straightaway. White flag comes out. One more lap to go for your leader, Dick Dunleavy Jr. Donnie Renner now holds down second. Scott Baker running third. Kenny Swart holding down the fourth position. And your winner will be Dunleavy for second. It will be Scott Baker. Donnie Renner will have to go to the last chance races. Once again, your winner, car number 11, Dick Dunleavy Jr. from New Carlisle, Ohio. Scott Baker finishes second. Scott Hills from Akron, Ohio. First heat race, top six, finished like this. Dick Dunleavy Jr., Scott Baker, Donnie Renner, Kenny Swart, Stan Perry, and Jerry Mitchell. The top six finishers in heat race number one for the lane model. Heat race number two now for the late models on the pole is Robbie Dean in the 94 machine. This year's track champion, six-time track champion now here at uh, Columbus Motor Speedway. Outside of him is car number one, also a former track champion here at Columbus Motor Speedway, Terry Humphrey. Inside second row, car number 25, Gary Carter, moving up from the street stock ranks. 42 is John Doring. 86, Skip Thornton, and outside of him, the 81 of Don Wetnell. They make up row number three. Inside row number four is the 11 of Chuck Silva. Silva handles from Wayne, Michigan. Then it's the 16 of Mike Simpson outside of him. On the back row, car number three is Bob Shippers and the 88 of Bill Magro. We get the white flag. We should get green flag next time by. Some 46 cars qualifying or taking the green flag for qualifying today. And out of 46 cars, only just under one second separated the quickest from the slowest. Your fast eight, so to speak, I will give you in just a few minutes as we are about to get underway for this heat race. Dean and Humphrey pick up the pace through turn four. The green flag flies and we are racing. Still side by side for the lead and second positions. Now Doring with a slight advantage on Carter, but Robbie Dean and Jerry Humphrey still side by side for the lead. It's Humphrey and Dean side by side as they come across the stripe. John Doring now runs third. Gary Carter runs in that fourth position, but he looks to the inside. He's got a car off the track. It looks to be the 86 of Skip Thornton. He's in the infield. He will have to try the Last chance races himself if he is to make it into the 100 lap late model main event. And now Humphrey with the advantage and the pass on the Big Bird down the back straightaway. Robbie comes back down the front straightaway but can't quite do it as Humphrey is now your leader. Robbie Dean runs in second. John Doring now in third looking to the high side of Dean. Bobby Dean still runs in second. John Doring runs third. Gary Carter now looks underneath for that third position. And here comes Don Wetton on the 81 machine. Give you your top eight qualifiers in their time. Your number one qualifier with a new event record. Uh, keep in mind they use a different compound tire for this event and the cars are a lot different uh, as far as their weight. But they're allowed to carry a lot lighter for this event than the normal weight. Weekly series, excuse me. Car number 83, Andy Bozell, was your top qualifier as Terry Humphrey, still your leader, Robbie Dean, runs in second. Andy Hales from Portage, Michigan, and he had a qualifying time of 13.395. Then your second fastest qualifier, Roger Black from Barberton, Ohio, 13.457. 101, Joe Bush is your third fast qualifier from Hastings, Michigan, 13.518. And it's the Zero car, Donnie Zero Hill from Columbus, Ohio, 13.557. Your fifth place qualifier is the 30 of Brian Bolt. Brian Hales from Canton, Ohio with a 13.575. The 11 car of Tim Felvers next. 
Owasso, Michigan. 13-582. And the seventh base qualifier, car number 21, Gary St. Amant from Columbus, Ohio. 13-592. And your eighth fastest qualifier, these are the eight cars that are locked into tomorrow's feature. They all start in an inverted fashion with the eighth fastest qualifier on the pole and the fastest qualifier in the eighth position. So your fast, your eighth fastest qualifier, your pole sitter tomorrow for the 100 lap main event is Rich Desecker from New Philadelphia, Ohio. 13.597 was his time. White flag, one more lap to go for your leader, Terry Humphrey. Don Wetnall off to his, outside of him. The Big Bird now runs in third. And now Wetnall with the advantage going through turns three and four. He slips a little bit. And your winner will be Don Wetnall. Terry Humphrey will come in second. And Robbie Dean takes home the third position. Dean having to go to a last chance race himself. Rounding out your top six, Gary Carter, John Doring, and Chuck Silva. Once again, your winner, car number 81, Don Wetnall. Heat race number three. And this is how they're going to line up on the pole. Car number 65, Tim Ice. And it's the 53 of Mike Miller. In row number two, inside, Fred Campbell in the 52 machine and the nine of Danny Eves. In row number three, the two of Dave Brandenburg and the other two of Bobby Bocook. Inside row number four is the 02 of Greg Buell and the 45 of Dave Jackson. And then out back, car number 24, Don Mahaffey Jr. Coming to turns three and four, picking up the throttle. The green flag flies, and we are racing for heat race number three. Tim Ice leads everybody into turns one and two. Down the back straightaway, Mike Miller now runs in second. Uh, third place is contested right now as we got a car spinning in the back. That's Dave Jackson in the 45 machine. Out of turn number four, the green flag flies once again, and we are back to racing. Tim Ice and Mike Miller lead them down. Miller slips a little bit and turns one and two. We almost have a near collision as the 52 of Fred Campbell, the two of Bobby Bocook, and the 45 of Dave Jackson are stopped over in turn two. We got another caution flag. Freddie Campbell, the car stopped down there at 15. No laps completed. Complete restart once again. They come out of turn number four. Once again, the green flag flies, and Tim Ice beats everybody to the starting line. Tim Ice, your leader. Now Danny Eves runs second. Now Miller pulls back up on Eves. Miller runs second. Eves back to third. Fourth place held down by Bobby Bocook, and guess what? Another caution. Green flag comes out once again, and once again, it's, you got it, Tim Ice, your leader. And the caution is going to come out yet again. Tim Ice and Mike Miller not lining up, not coming across that stripe side by side. Tim Ice has always had an advantage across the uh, front of the car. And now the flagman is going to get down and have a little conversation with Tim Ice. He is flying the red flag telling Tim Ice to come over there as he will have a consultation with Tim Ice and remind him how they're supposed to start these races. And once again, a little bit better start. Same results. Tim Ice still there. I think it's Mike Miller more than Tim Ice. Mike Miller's car not holding on the outside. He's not able to keep up that speed through turns three and four. Tim Ice, your leader. Second is Dan Eves. 53, Mike Miller runs third, and Bobby Bocook holds down that fourth position. Once again, the top two transfer to the 100 lap feature. And 
and now Eves looks to the inside of Ice down the front straightaway, but Tim Ice slams the door and turns one and two. Tim Ice, Danny Eves, Mike Miller, Bobby Bocook, and Dave Brandenburg, your top five cars. Mike Miller and Bobby Boca, your top four cars. And Bert still holds down that fifth position. It's still Tim I sure leader. Tim I. Danny Eves and the 53 of Mike Miller, your top three cars. That is the 53 of Mike Miller. Something wrong with that car. Smoke coming out of it and he's off the pace. And he'll stop on the back stretch and that'll bring out a caution flag. Speedway, 13 Mike laps Miller. now complete. I believe this is a 15 lap speed race. And it looks like Mike Miller tanked the wall. Is that funny? It's not looking quite right. Tim I still your leader, Danny E's, Bobby Bocook. Run second and third now. White flag, one more lap to go, this time by the stripe. Come out of turn number four, your winner, car number 65, Tim Ice, and Danny Eves will finish second. That's the top two transfer cars. Rest of the finishers, Bobby Bocook finishes third. Dave Brandenburg winds up fourth. Greg Buell winds up in the fifth position, and rounding out your top six cars, Don Maheffy Jr. Number three, white flag has been given, so this lineup will be quick. 47, Larry Harris. Outside of him, the 26, Bill Cantley. 39, Randy Maynard. 61, Mike Rohr. 301, Rich Rohr. 91, Scott Drake. 59, Gary Whipke. 5, Gary Estes. And the 25, of Scott Wimmer. Green flag. Larry Harris, your early leader, but here comes Cantley on the outside. Randy Maynard holds down that third position. Mike Ward in fourth. Still your leader, Larry Harris. Now Maynard into the side of Harris. Harris spins. Maynard 
goes on past and so does Cantley. Caution comes out. One lap complete, Larry Harris. Alright, the green flag comes back out. We are back to racing. Larry Harris and Randy Maynard deposited to the tail. And your leader now is the 26 of Bill Cantley, 61. Mike Ward runs in second. 301 Rich Rohr runs in that third position. And fourth is Scott Drake. Columbus veteran racer, car number 26, Bill Cantley, your leader. The 61 of Mike Ward runs in second. It's still Rich Rohr in third and Scott Drake in fourth. Cantley and Ward holding down the front two positions. They're in the main event feature, feature race if they just maintain these two positions. Mike Ward still the top two cars. Rich Rohr and Scott Drake. Round out your top four. Then Randy Maynard Jr. runs fifth. Fifth. Now Maynard looks to the inside of Scott Drake coming out of turn two. Down the back straightaway. They're side by side as they going to turn three. Now Maynard with a slight advantage. Drake pushes up, now Maynard runs in that fourth position. Randy Maynard Jr., car number 39, now runs fourth. His sights are now set on the 301 of Rich Roar. applying the pressure to the 301 of Rich Rohr. He looks outside going into turn three. Randy Maynard Jr., man on the mission, now battling for that third position. They touch, coming out of four. Maynard once again to the side of 301, Rich Rohr. Randy Maynard Jr. in the 39 machine. He now runs third. Set his sights on the second place car now. Mike Ward still running in second. Bill Cantley holding down that top position. White flag, Maynard in. Run out of time. Your winner will be car number 26, Bill Cantley. Finishing second, Mike Ward. Your top two cars transfer. Rest of the field, Randy Maynard Jr., Rich Rohr, Scott Drake, and Gary Whipke will have to go to the last chance races tomorrow morning. Once again, your winner, car number 26, Bill Cantley. Mike Gillen, Marcus Malkut, and Jerry Jones battle for that third position. Three the two. Laps are complete. Jimmy so Mike Gillen. Gillen moving around the 75 and the 13 car of Jones, uh, the one on that number two spot. And he'll try to run out of course. The 25 car of Jimmy Kidd. 
Crossy run for Bob Sibley in the number two machine. Him and uh, Gregory all the way from the back. Now Gregory also battling now for that third spot. Sibley following him. Greg, uh, Gregory, a regular here at Columbus Motor Speedway. machine for that second spot but he's going after Jimmy Kitt in the 25 car keep an eye on Don Gregory Jr. on the outside so a lot at stake a lot at stake in this race is that the way they finish the way they finish will be the way they line up in tomorrow's feature so the winner starts on the pole the winner of this event Gregory, the 1995 track champion, goes after the 94 track champion, Jimmy Kidd. And the white is out. One more lap to go. Gregory bounces for Jimmy Kidd for that number one spot. Also on a move in the two car, Bob Sibla, fourth place car, the 05 car, Mike Gillen. Kidd sideways off the second turn. Gregory gets the advantage. Here comes Sibla. Your winner, Don Gregory Jr. Second is Jimmy Kidd. Sibla runs third. Fourth is Mike Gillen. Fifth, Jerry Jones. Sixth, Marcus Malquitt. Seventh, Steve Scott. And eighth, uh, car number four. Dividing car number six. That's Bill Wellman. The second row, Carl Katz in 46. And car 64, Ed Middall. And the next row, car number one, Dale Brown. And 93, Jamie Hunt. Then car number nine, Dave Wagner, and alongside car 26 of Scott Stevens. Then 17, Steve Tuttle, and on the tail, your fast qualifier tonight, 43, Mike Schweier. This is your sport, uh, your street stock. Uh, Ten laps. Fast this. eight heat street race. This will race. determine the starting order for the feature later tonight for the street stops. This will determine our starting position in tonight's big feature event. And the green flag comes back out. And we got a spin in turn number four. Six Scott Stevens has uh, dropped some fluid on the racetrack, so no starts. Caution remains. Oh, cat back out. He is on the lead lap apparently, so he gets back out in time. Ten laps to go. Green out. Remember how they finish this race. Now they start tonight's feature event. that number one spot. Now Dysinger takes control. The battle heats up for second. Bill Wellman and Dale Brown going at it for the second spot. Jamie Hunt runs fourth. Way home. 
Five in, five more to go. Deisinger still setting the pace in that 27 machine, but a good battle now going on between Wellman in the six car and Dale Brown in that number one car. Two laps remain this time. Still Dave Deisinger, your leader. Good battle going on behind Eisinger for the second, third, fourth, and fifth position. Wellman and Brown, as the white flag comes out, one more to go. Here comes your winner, rolling on to the number four corner is Dave Deisinger, second. Machine will be second. Uh, the number one car of Dale Brown will be your third place car. First, uh, that being that being the quick time heat, we'll call it. We'll call this the first heat for the street stocks. Car 83 on the pole. Bill Pollard in the 83 machine, Outs 49. Outside Bobby Atkins in 49. 70 be Ryan Tedesco. Bo Davis is in 18, Heavy Hill in 70. Number 12, Don Harvey Jr. 65, that's um, George Lindsay, 88, Bruce Holmes. 40, John Ramser. 69, John Aleshire, 99, Joe DeGregory. Keith Elliott. And oh, Eric Malloy at a 32 machine. And 07's John Morgan. And Morgan, oh, sideways down in turn one, the car 07, but he gathers it back together. Top two cars transferred to tonight's feature. Top two, of course, transferring into the feature, so keep an eye on the 83 car right now. He is, of course, your first place car, but a good battle now going on between the 70 car and a 49 machine. And 49 flips up, 70 moves around him for that second spot. Don Hill also moving in the other 70 machine. machine runs in the fourth spot again looking for the green coming off the number four corner eight more to go top two cars do transfer Shows him the cross flag. Bo 
Davis trying to put some pressure on the 49 machine. Bobby Atkins in 49. Davis looking to the outside, but Atkins up off the fourth turn just a little high. Slams the door on Davis. Now Davis off the pace just a bit, trying to gather it back together. A left front tire flat on the 18 machine of Bo Davis. Bobby Atkins in the 49 car, your top three cars. Looks like Atkins might was trying to muster a run up for uh, the 70 car of Don Heavy Hill, but coming up a little short, it looks like. But your winner will be Bill Pollard, the 83 machine. Don Heavy Hill, your second place car, third place, the 49 car of Bobby Atkins. A real bad break for Bo Davis in the 18 car with a good run going for him and losing a left front tire. See, double zero, Ron Mangus. Then 52, inside row three, Tom Bond. And 79 is uh, Don Holland. 27, Bill Hilliker, the 34 car, Bill Cromer Jr. 66, Paul Baker Jr. 1995 car, uh, Mike Paul. 91, Rick Curtin. 49 is Clayton Allshaus. So this event as well, a 10 lap contest with two cars surviving for the uh, moving into the feature. Rob Martin with the advantage down the back stretch. Whoa. Now the 03 car sideways. He recovers, loses two spots. Mangus up the third spot. Second is KC Knight. But now Mangus looking for a way around the, the runner up. And the 49 car loses the handle on that machine. sees his uh, solid second position going away. Ron Mang is putting pressure on Bobby Knight for that second spot. joins the fray, closing in on the back of Rod Mangus. Casey Knight, the 27th car, with a good run. It's his first visit ever here at Columbus Speedway. He gets a little line out. Mangus looks to the inside of him. Two laps remain. Mangus looking high and looking low. He's got a lap and a half to go. White flag out this time, one to go. 
Ron Martin, Casey Knight holding on to that number two spot, getting a lot of pressure from Ron Mangus in the double zero car. Remember, the top two cars do transfer in tonight's feature event. Here comes your winner, rolling off at number four car will be Rob Martin. Second spot will go to Casey Knight. Third place double zero car of Ron Mangus. Tom Bond in the 52 car, your fourth place car. That's unofficial, of course. So one, uh, looks to be one additional street stock heat race coming your way momentarily. Your winner, Rob Martin. Martin finished 10th in the uh, second row, car 77. I'm going to assume that's Don Townsend Jr. Yeah, I see Townsend out there now. Alongside 31, Jim Hersey. 75 car of Ron Dig, 50, Russ Moore Jr. Number 69, Keith Elliott. Uh, right before the Elliott is car 8, Bubba Parsons. Then 91, we never did get an official driver's or yeah that is sean gray sean gray the car three we're not sure about the driver's name it was supposed to be kevin lococo but uh, word has it that lococo has a dislocated shoulder so we're gonna have to check on a driver's name for three 15 of course will be mike philo and the 38 machine driven by gary smith Come off at number four corner, look for the green flag. The flag lady more back, the green flag is out. Remember the top two cars do transfer. A pair of 36s race through turns one and two, and car number three spins in turn two. He is back underway, but uh, already we're, we've got caution on the speedway. and Diana, the 36 is going at it. Mario Diana with a little advantage over Romans coming off that number two corner. will jump into that number one spot. with one and nine to go, Mario Diano, Jimmy Romans, Donnie Thompson Jr. And he slips a little and Ron Daigle try to cash in on that but not able to do anything going on that back straight away with him. It gets uh, collected by the 31 machine. Diano continues to draw away in car 36. Coming off that number four corner, he gets the car back under him. Coming in on lap five, look at the, the cross flags halfway home. Got a three wide coming off that number two. Digging that 75 car now putting the pressure on Townsend. Mm -hmm. 
So keep in mind that only two cars, two cars transfer to tonight's feature race from this event. White flag for Mario Diano. One to go, Diano. The 10-15 car badge over the second place car. Back in the second Elliott. Townsend with a hello, how do you do to Jimmy Romans. Diana will pick up that checkered flag and Romans will hold on with a lot of pressure from Townsend to come over that second spot. Finishing third is Townsend, fourth, car 75. I need a pencil. Sixty-eight. Warren Tolman driving a sixty-eight car, number twelve. Mac Gribble Jr. Don Holland is in. Make that Mike Holland at eighty-six. Forty-four machine of John Crumrine. Number fourteen car of John Tannarelli Jr. So apparently, two cars have scratched from this event. So again, like the street stock heat races, the first two finishers will transfer automatically to tomorrow's limited or the action, the number feature. six car very shook and the number 30 car was supposed to have been driven by Danny Eves, but the green flag comes out on this race. Steve Gillen, Ward Toba, Mac Gribble Jr. They'll go three wide coming off that number two corner. 12 laps the distance for this event. Mike Hall, your second place machine, one of the regulars here at Columbus Motor Speedway. Steve Gillen fighting a bad push down and having problems bringing that car off the corner. Plenty of straightaway speed, but unable to bring the car off. Holland with two feature wins here in 1995. Stalks your leader down the back stretch. Holland checking out that outside lane. Uh, he will make a move now on the 50 car of Steve Gillen. Holland taking a long way around, will work his way oh, around the 50 car of Steve Gillen coming off at number two down that back straightaway. Holland puts that old Manny's Pub Buick out front. Oldsmobile, rather. Flag was shown the cross, cross flag. We're halfway through this event then. Mike Holland all by himself now in that number one spot. Steve Gillen holding on to second place. Plenty of power, but some handling problems coming off the corner. The 50 machine. Mac Dribble Jr., your third place car, the number 12 car. Fourth place, the 44 car of John Crumrine. Toma in the 68 car, your fifth place machine. Speedway. It's time by White Flag. 
Craig for Mike Holland and company. One more lap to go. Now Holland, no challenge at all this time from second place car, Steve Gillen. Third place machine is the number 12 car of Mac Gribble Jr. Fourth place car to 44 car of John Crumrine. Your winner going off the number four car will be Mike Holland. Second spot will go to Steve Gillen in the 50 car. Third place, Mac Ripple Jr. Fourth place car to 44 car of John Crumrine. The fifth place car now coming off the fourth corner is the 14 car of John Tannarelli. Okay, thanks. Go eight car, Randy Swart. 81 machine is uh, Phil Pete. Number three, Doug Summers, 18, Randy Gray, 07, Jim Minnick. They'll go 12 circuits around the speedway. Doug Summers looking for green this time, coming off the number four corner, the green flag is out. Harvin loses a lot of ground on the start as Justice begins to check out. Phil P with a good run going for him that 81 car right now. Boxed in, unable to go anywhere, but just tucking right in there and going right after Parvin. Paul Miller in the 54 car is your second place car. corner and both of them get turned around up there. Harvin had first gotten gotten uh, had contact with car 54 and uh, subsequently come down the front stretch and he and uh, Randy Sword exchanged sheet metal down in turn number one. Looks like his rewards may be paying off. Now don't jinx him, jinx him, Chucky. Bobby Justice goes right back to work trying to put some real estate between himself and the 54 car, Paul Miller. Miller, your second place car, but the 81 car, Phil P. down at third spot. So he'll be getting some pressure just momentarily from number three car, Doug Summers. We have six in, six more to go. Bart, Frank, Barman on the move, moving around the 18 machine of Randy Gray. Summers going after the third spot, and Phil Pete is the white flag comes out for Bobby Justice. Here, where will be Bobby Justice? Second place to go to the 54 car, Paul Miller. Third place, Doug Summers. Fourth place, car 81 for Phil Pete.
21 car of Buddy Townsend. Number five machine of Bob Grubal. 64, Tom Garbrandt. Curtis, and on the tail, 27, Jimmy McCulley. Again, the top two drivers transfer to tomorrow's feature event for the limited sportsman cars. cars do transfer into Mars feature event. Well, Mars, Donnie Mars, one of the regulars here at Columbus Motor Speedway working the outside of the Jeff Egan machine. Also on a move in 21 car is Buddy Townsend in 21, runs third. Right now is your fourth place car in the 83 machine. Garbrandt with a good run up high. And Carson does finally move around the 87 car, beating for that number one spot. Parsons after Donnie Parsons. Tom Garbrandt in the 64 car with a good run going for him. I'm sorry, Donnie Parsons battling now 21 and a 22 machine. Downs in the leader, he snared his first ever feature victory here one week ago. after Parsons. The Garbrandt putting a good show on an outside lane trying to work around the 22 car of a Donald Parsons. Three 
So it'll be Buddy Thompson in the 21 car, your race winner. Second spot will be Donnie Parsons in the 22 machine. They'll advance to out of our afternoon's feature event. and Bo Davis make up row number one. The 03 machine of Kevin Heron. And Bobby Adkins in row two. Then comes Tom Bond and Don Holland, your third row. Fourth row is Bubba Parsons in eight. And looks like they might be switching some things around here. Car 65. George Lindsay in the 65 machine. Then 91. Sean Gray. Apparently they were have to jumble the lineup because of a scratch or two. So bear with us a minute. Paul Baker Jr. in his 66 car. that 07 car, 91 cars, Rick Curtin, 49 Clayton Alls House. I believe it's Mike Powell in that 95 machine. It's just a, your first last chance race. Remember the top three cars will advance to this evening's feature event. Number four corner, looking for the green flag, and it is out. We'll go 12 laps, three cars on the fence. Bo Davis looking to pull ahead of Jim Hersey on the backstretch, and he does so. Now Hersey, a hello, how do you do to Bo Davis in turn four? Kevin Aaron with a nice inside move. We'll move around Hershey. Ticket office, please. Cheryl Hines to the ticket office. Some crashing and smashing there. Going to that number three corner. Paul Baker Jr. is probably sorry he got that car running now. 11 more to go. Bo and David. Kevin Aaron. Tom Bond in the 52 car. Green out. Here we go. Top three cars will advance in tonight's feature event. So that third spot, the very, very important spot in this race. are getting a lot of pressure now from Paul Baker Jr. net 66 machine. Swapping some paint down there in turn four. George Lindsay will try to cash in on the, uh, the contact two cars, but unable will do anything about it. Kind of a break for Sean Gray as he gets away, at least momentarily, from the 66 car, Paul Baker Jr. The lead trio, Bo Davis, Kevin Heron, and Tom Bond. Four laps in the record books. Don Holland calls it a night in car 79. A lot of smoke coming off the Bo Davis machine off the right rear side of the car. He's doing his tire smoke or better rubbing a tire at least. Pick up the cross flag this ball this time by the start finish line as we get halfway home. Six in, six more to go. Bo Davis now putting some real estate between himself. And the O a three car of Kevin Heron. Tom 
spot, still holding on to that third spot. Transfer spot right now, and he has a long way back between him and that fourth place machine. Sean Gray way up in the marbles, just frying it back tires. Comprise row number one. The 70 machine of Ryan Tedesco, 75, Ron Degg, number 50, Russ Moore Jr., the number 12 car of Don Harvey Jr., the 27 car of Bill Hilliker, 69, Keith Elliott, 88, Bruce Holmes, the 34 car of Bill Cromer Jr., and the three car, we have no idea who it is. The 30 car of Rusty Mortimer. 99 is Joe DeGregory. Looking for green this time. Coming off the corner, the green flag is up. Tom, it's a good, a good move. Moves around Mangus for that number one spot. Also, the hammer down on the outside of the 75 car is Ron Day. Only three cars move into the feature. And caution on the speedway. About mid-season. How many laps are down, Chucky? One lap complete. One down, 11 more to go. Yeah. He'll pick the pace up now, but we have a massive traffic jam in the back straightaway. And we're gonna have a caution. Uh, we got uh, a little quicker and we're back racing. One lap complete. Ron Bank is currently second. to the outside of Mangus for the runner-up spot.
Mortimer brings out the caution with a spin in turn one. And then car miraculously fires up after the yellow flag comes out. second, Ron Degg third, by start finish. Keith Elliott, the 69 car, with a good run going right on the outside as they pick up the cross like Black Lady Warmack. Now, he big as a hold on to that number one spot. Ron Dague now putting some pressure on Ron Mangus for that runner-up spot, and Dague will tuck underneath Mangus going to that number three corner. car 88. He'll cut across into the infield. Holmes is out. Keith Elliott up high. Going to that number two corner. Losing some valuable ground to the number 12 car of Don Harvey Jr. Lean on lap number nine, and Don Nellis, Don Nellis Jr. still continues to set the pace. Ron Dig has closed some ground on him. But your first, second, third place corner, Mangus could have some problems here in a couple of laps coming up here as Tedesco closes the door or catches on the back end of him. Second, Ron Dig now going after Don Nellis. A white flag this time. The battle heats up up front. Ron Daigle trying to move around Donnie Townsend. On the outside, they go across that start finish line and pick up that ch our girl, white flag. Your winner coming across that start finish line is Ron Dick. Second place, Donnie Downs. Third place, Ron Mangus. Uh, fourth place, car to 70 car, Ryan Tedesco. So again, we'll have a very brief intermission, just long enough to let these cars. Car number six should be Bill Wellman. The second row looks to be Dale Brown in car number one, and outside 43, Mike Schweier. Then comes Jamie Hunt in car 93 and 9. Dave Wagner in the number 9 car. 64 is uh, Ed Middall. Outside fourth row, that's Carl Katz. The fifth row is Scott Stevens. And alongside 17, Steve Tuttle. Who's the defending champion of this race? Uh, last year's uh, winner in the street stock feature here at the main event, 7. Let's see, where are we? We're in the sixth row. Appears to be Ron Mangus in double zero. And alongside of Ron, 18 of Bo Davis. Don Townsend Jr. starts inside of the next row. Alongside is car 03. That is Kevin Heron. Let's see, 27 is next. KC Knight, and alongside Mario Diano in 36. Uh, inside the next row, 36R, the black uh, Camaro of Jimmy Romans, and beside him, Rob Martin in 24. Then comes 83, Bill Pollard, and 75, Ron Degg, and Tom Bond is on the inside of the final row. Alongside of him in 70 is Heavy Hill.
22 cars for the street stock feature event. Some more laps sold here. Lap 25, KP Cars from Columbus, Ohio. Lap 22, Ohio Motorsports Marketing uh, here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, lap number... Dysinger and Wellman bring him back to the green. on the move. He's up to third. Dale Brown runs second. The battle for fourth between Schwire and Dysinger. Jamie Hunt is sixth. of Mike Schwire. Five laps down. Wagner showing the trim on the outside. Moving around the number one car of Dale Brown for that second spot. Wagner, former winner of uh, this particular race. Wagner wanted to that bottom groove at a bat in the worst way. Now he runs into Wellman. Caution. Six laps down, 24 remain. Mike Schwire is second, Jamie Hunt third. Three back out, six in, 24 more to go.
some distance between himself and Jamie Hunt. Steve Tuttle pulls into four spot. Mike Schwier and I'll put it to real estate to play himself the second place car. Jamie Hunt is second. Halfway. Steve Tuttle challenging third place Dale Brown down the front stretch. Winner in the third position this time, the number 17 car, Tuttle. to the infield. Steve Tuttle, your winner last year, is back out. He'll start on the tail. Dwyer put some quick distance between himself and Jamie Hunt about three car lengths off of turn four. as your runner-up. Third is still Dale Brown. Ed Middall is fourth. Dave Dysinger fifth. Five more to go. And Mike Schreier sets the pace in that 43 machine. Jamie Hunt, a 93 car, your second place car, but a lot of territory between him and Mike Schreier. Third spot, the number one car of Dale Brown. And middle, the number 64 car, running at four spots, giving Brown a lot of pressure here over the last several laps.
wire. Mario Diano out with a flat right rear tire. Right out, one and four laps to go. Mike Schwire with about a seven or eight car lead over the second place car. Jamie Hunt, Jamie Hunt with about a half a straightaway lead over the third place car. Dale Brown. Your winner rolling off that number four turn is Mike Schreier. Second place will be Jamie Hunt. Third spot, the number one car. Dale Brown, fourth place. Ed Middle on the 64 car. parts to uh, report to the start finish line to uh, present Mike Schreier with a trophy and get your picture taken of course. You need a representative from all pro auto parts to please report to the start finish line and uh, get your picture taken presenting a trophy to Mike Schreier. Chunky is stationed down there somewhere. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, apparently we have a lot of uh, Mike Schreier fans down here holding up big number 43. Uh, Mike Schreier. It's time for the limited sportsman last chance race or sports talks as Midvale calls them. On the pole, car number 08, that's Randy Sward. Outside of him is the 83 of Ron Ridenauer. Inside second row, car number 12, Max Gribble. Outside of him, the 8, the 88. Last year's winner of the Sportsman feature, Frank Carvin. Inside the third row, 68 is Warren Toma. 87, Jeff Egan. Outside of him, 81, Phil Pete. And the five of Bob Grubo make up row number four. Row number five, car number 64, Ron Garibrand. And then the three of Doug Summers. 44, John Crumrine. 73, Ed Curtis. 18 is Randy Gray. 14, John Tannarelli Jr. And then out back, car number 07, Jim Finney. Limited Sportsman last chance race. The top eight cars will transfer out of this race into the 40 lap Limited Sportsman feature event coming up later today. First, after this race, we will have two last chance races for the late models. And as you can tell, we are now working on Sunday. And we have two cameras. Bill Yo has joined me. He's over in camera or over in turn one and two with the camera, and there's Bill Yo's shot, and he'll be giving you fine pictures all day for the rest of this event over there in camera two, and as you can tell, one lap to go, and we will be back to green flag racing for this last chance race. Randy Sward and Ron Ridenauer bring them down to the green flag, green flag flies, and we are racing. Ward leads him into turns three and four. Right now on the outside. Max Gribble on the inside for that second position. As I said, the top eight will transfer. It's still Sward to leader. Now he gets touched by Ron Ridenauer. Sward goes around and that'll bring out a caution flag. White flag comes out. We should get a green flag next time by the stripe. Your leader is now the 12 of Max Gribble, Frank Carvin, the 68 machine of Warren Toma. 
And the three of Doug Summers, I believe, is next. I think that's the next car. I'm not quite sure. Might have been the 87 of Jeff Egan. Yes, it's the 87 of Jeff Egan rounding out your top four. And the fifth place car is five, Bob Grubar. Green flag comes out, and we are back to racing. Car spinning over there in turn three. Bringing out another green flag. That is the 73 car of Ed Curtis. A white flag comes out. We should get a green flag next time by the stripe. And from the camera two shot, the car is coming right at you. Jeff Egan and the 68 of Warren Toma go, go to battle side by side for that third position. Fourth or fifth is the five car Bob Grubal. Sixth is the 81 machine uh, Phil P. Then Ron Greer brand in the 64. That's the seventh place car. The eighth place car is the three of Doug Summers. So right now, the three car of Doug Summers, your final transfer car. Up front, it's still Max Gribble Jr., car number 12, as Randy Sward is trying desperately to get back up there, at least to the eighth position, so that he may transfer into the last, or the feature event from the last chance race. Goose again, coming through four. That's the 73 of Ed Curtis. Your leader is still the 12 car, Max Gribble, and he's running away with it. Car number 12, Max Gribble, your leader. Frank Parvin running in second, third now is the 87 of Jeff Egan, fourth is the five car of Bob Grubal. And Randy Sward looking underneath the 68 machine of Warren Toma. Randy Sward picks up another position. There's the 88 of Frank Parvin. He runs in second. We got cars going through the dirt. The 18 machine of Ron, uh, Randy Gray, excuse me. Off into the dirt in turn four, he keeps going. Randy Sward looks to the outside of the 64 of Ron Garibrand. Can't quite get the job done, so it's back behind him in four. audio getting the sound from over in turn one and two as well as the sound from the front stretch and you can just hear those tires squeal as those cars come through turn number four coming back Bill Yost camera the 07 car having trouble everybody gets by Doug Summers now on the or excuse me John Crumrine and Doug Summers on the outside now Crumrine looking at the outside of 87 Jeff Egan they're side by side as they come out of turn number four. And now Doug Summers in the three car takes over the position. I believe that's third position. And there's Randy Sward up, white flag, one more lap to go. We got a car off through the grass, the 64 Ron Garbrandt. He keeps it going, white flag is out. 
And your winner will be car number 12, Max Gribble Jr. We got a car spinning down the front straightaway. Oh, and that's the 14 of John Tannarelli Jr. spinning over in turn one. And there's your winner, car number 12, Max Gribble Jr. for the last chance race, first last chance race for the late models, and they're going to line up this way. The 42 car of John Doring on the pole outside of him. 52, Fred Campbell. 92, Donnie Renner inside second row. 47, Larry Harris outside of him. Inside third row, 98, Mike Denny. The 86 is Skip Thornton. Fourth row is 301, Rich Rohr. The 2 of Bobby Boca. 77, Kenny Sward, and the 02, Greg Buell make up row number 5. The 59 of Gary Whipke, the 45 of Dave Jackson, 5 of Randy Van Zandt, and the 24 of Don Mahaffey Jr. Will be your starting field for this 20 lap late model last chance race. Top four cars will transfer. Top four cars will transfer to the 100 lap late model main event. A white flag will be shown to the group this time by the stripe. turns three and four. Green flag comes out and we are racing. Oh, and Fred Campbell and John Doring get together. Everybody spins to avoid. Now everybody gets by okay. I don't believe there's any more contact after the initial contact. Caution on the track. White flag comes out, one more lap, and we'll be back to green flag racing. Complete restart. John Dolring, Fred Campbell, Donnie Renner, Larry Harris, Mike Denny, Skip Thornton, Rich Rohr, Bobby Boca, Kenny Sword, Greg Buell, Gary Whipke, Dave Jackson, Randy Van Zandt, Don Mahaffey Jr. Green flag comes out, and we are back to racing. Fred Doring, your early leader, the 52 of Fred Campbell, now runs second. Third spot held down by Donnie Renner. Fourth right now, your last transfer spot contested. Skip Thornton, Larry Harris battle. Thornton on the outside, Harris on the inside. They battle side by side down the back stretch. And now Skip Thornton holds down that fourth position. Looking to the outside of Harris. It's still Skip Thornton holding down that fourth position. As Boca looks for a way around Harris.
side of Larry Harris down the front straightaway. Rich Rohr in the 301 machine trying to get around the 47 of Larry Harris. still runs in second. We watch this battle as Rich Rohr finally gets around the Larry Harris machine. He'll set his sights on the 86 of Skip Thornton. slow down the back straight away. Not sure who that is there. Car number 42, John Dahring, still your leader. White flag comes out. One more lap to go for your leader, car number 42, John Dory. And your winner, car number 42, John Dory. 52, Fred Campbell. Then the 92, Donnie Renner. 86 is Skip Thornton. 301, Rich Rohr. And I believe it was actually the top five out of this event that are transferring, not the top four. Once again, your winner, car number 42, John Doring. Doring hails from Flint, Michigan. Understanding Doring uh, has not raced since last year's main event. He helps run a track with his family and doesn't have much time to race, but uh, this is his second time in a year that he's raced here at the main event, and he has won his last chance race and is in the 100 lap feature event. And here we go with the Final late model last chance race on the pole, car number 39, Randy Maynard Jr. Then it's the 25 of Gary Carter. Inside second row, car number 53 is Mike Miller and the 94 of the Big Bird, Robbie D. Car number six is Jerry Mitchell, Mitchell. and then the two of Dave Brandenburg. Car number 43, Wilbur Roby, the 91 of Scott Drake. Car number 11 is Chuck Silva, and then the 10 of Stan Perry. Car number 16, Mike Simpson, the 3 of Jeff Sullivan. 88 is Bill Magrill, the 25 of Scott Wimmer, and out back is the 7 car, and I have no idea who's driving that car. That's normally piloted by Danny Eves. I know Eves is into the feature. Also, another driver that has been piloting that car is Bill Cantley. But, uh, and the green flag comes out and we are racing. I don't know if Cantley's into the feature or not. Let me check my cheat sheets here. Cantley's into the feature in the 26 machine, so I'm not quite sure who that is driving the seven car. Randy Manor Jr. leads this last chance race, the 53 of Rich or Mike Miller on the inside and on the outside of Mike. 
is the 25 of Gary Carter. 94, Robbie Dean runs in the fourth position. He is your, no, the fifth place car would be your last transfer car. And right now, Robbie Dean, Dave Brandenburg, and Jerry Mitchell all battling for the last transfer position, basically. As Brandenburg looks to the outside of the Big Bird down the back straightaway. Now Brandenburg runs fourth. Robbie Dean runs in the fifth position, which I believe is the last transfer position. We have got a pile up in turn three. Mike Simpson, Scott Drake, the three car of Jeff Sullivan in the 11 of Chuck Silva. Here's the replay. The car is all ready together as they come into three. And the 11 of Chuck Silva taking a hard hit in the side by the three of Jeff Sullivan. Scott Drake with some front end damage on his car. There's your lineup with four laps completed. 39 is Randy Major Jr., Mike Miller, Gary Carter, Dave Brandenburg, Robbie Dean, Jerry Mitchell, Wilbur Roby, Scott Drake. And then it's the 10 of Stan Perry. We should get a green flag this time by the strike. Green flag flies and we are back to racing. Randy Maynard Jr., your leader. Third in fourth is Dave Brandenburg, 94, Robbie Dean, fifth, and Jerry Mitchell runs in that sixth position.
look to the high side of Dean. As the white flag has come out, one more lap to go for your leader, car number 39, Randy Maynard Jr. Mitchell gets around Dean for that fifth and final transfer spot. Randy Maynard Jr. will be your leader. Mike Miller runs in second. Gary Carter, Dave Brandenburg, and Jerry Mitchell will round out your top five. Your top five transfer cars. And the Big Bird does not transfer to the 100 lap late model feature. But there's your winner, car number 39, Randy Maynard Jr. Sportsman or sports stock main event. On the pole is car number two, the purple and white number two, this year's track champion at Columbus Motor Speedway, Don Gregory Jr. Outside of row number one is the 25 of Jimmy Kidd. Inside row number two is the two of Bob Sibla, the red number two. 05, Mike Gillen sits out of Sibla. And inside row number three is the 13 of Jerry Jones, and outside of him, the 75 of Marcus Malkin. Inside row number four, car number 10, Steve Scott, and the 14 of Doc Dixon. 21, Buddy Townsend is next. Outside of Townsend is the 08 of Randy Sward. 86, Mike Holland, and the 54 of Paul Miller. And inside the next row is the 12 of Max Gribble and the 22 of Don Parsons. Inside next row, 88 Frank Parvin, last year's winner of the Sportsman main event. And outside of him, the 87 of Jeff Egan. 29, Bobby Justice and the 50 of Steve Gillen. 5, Bob Grubal, and outside him, the 81 of Phil Pete. 3 is Doug Summers and the 83 of Ron Reidenauer. And in the last row, car number 44, John Crumrine, and outside of him, the 64 of Tom Garibrand. 40 laps for the Limited Sportsman Sports Stocks. Called Limited Sportsman here in the NASCAR Winston Racing Series at Columbus Motor Speedway and in the Midville Weekly Racing Series uh, called the Sports Stock Division. White flag comes out, we should get green flag next time by for 40 laps. Don Gregory, Jimmy Kidd on the front row. Two, as I said, Don Gregory Jr. now a two-time champion, winning the track championship this year in 1994's track champion, car number 25, Jimmy Kidd. The green flag comes out and we are racing. Purple and white number two, Don Gregory Jr. running in second is the two-car Bob Sibola, but right there is the 25 of Jimmy Kidd. Now Sibola gets around Jimmy Kidd for that second position. Kidd now back to third. Running in fourth is the 05 of Mike Gillen. Marcus Malkin, 75, holding down the fifth position, and the 14 of Doc Dixon runs in the sixth position. That's not the 14, that is the 4 of Doc Dixon. Car number 4, Doc Dixon. And we got a car spinning over in turn 2. That's the 13 of Jerry Jones. Everybody else makes it pass. One car spinning into the infield. I believe that's Bob Grubal. Four laps now complete. It's Don Gregory Jr., Bob Sibilla, and the 25 of Jimmy Kidd, your top three. 
kid. It's the 05 Mike Gillen, 75 Marcus Malkin, and the 4 of Doc Nixon. And it's the 10 of Ske Steve Scott, 88 Frank Barbin, 08 Randy Sward, the 54 of Paul Miller. They pick up the two turns three and four. Green flag, and we are back to racing. Don Gregory Jr., the two of Bob Civilo runs in second. Jimmy Kidd runs third. Now Civilo looks to the high side of Don Gregory. Two turns one and two. Civilo trying to find a way around. Don Gregory Jr., your leader, Bob Sibola, runs in second. And Jimmy Kidd still holding down that third position. Sibola all over Gregory, just like a cheap suit. And still can't quite get around. He loses some ground through turn four that time. Don Gregory Jr., still your leader. the car spinning that's the 08 of Randy Swore. Okay after nine laps it's the two of Don Gregory Jr. and then the two of Bob Sibla and the 25 of Jimmy Kidd. 05 Mike Gillen, 75 Marcus Malkin and the four of Doc Dixon. comes back out as we got a car slow over in turn four. That's the 12 of Max Gribble Jr. And I think it's a flat left front tire on that car. One lap to go to green. Junior, your leader, he brings down the stripe. Got a good jump on the second place car of Bob Sibla. Don 
not much has changed among them the top five or six cars. As all these cars are fairly even. And we got a car spinning in the back. That's the 29 of Bob Justice. Justice saves it, keeps on going, and we don't have a caution. Green stays out. Jones slow down the front straight away. Jones looks like he might be trying to get into the infield. That car very slow around the track. Cars are pretty well spread out though. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get in there. Fourteen laps now complete. And we got a car stopped on the back stretch. It's the 13 of Jerry Jones. We also got one spinning into the infield. I'm not sure, quite sure who that is. That's the 87 of Jeff Egan spinning into the infield. White flag comes out. We should get a green flag next time by the strike. Don Gregory Jr., Bob Sibola, Jimmy Kidd, Mike Gillen, Marcus Malfoot, and Doc Dixon. Flag flies once again. We are back to racing. And now Steve Gill into the high side of the 83 car. We're on right now in 83. Right now it looks very loose as he goes through the turns in that 83 machine. Still your leader. Civila runs in second. Jimmy Kidd runs third. Mike Gillen runs in that fourth position. And now Civila closed right up on the back bumper of Don Gregory Jr. He looks for a way around down the front straightaway. Looking to the high side going through turns one and two. over in turn two. It looks like the Jerry Jones machine pulling into the infield. And we got a couple cars getting together over in turn one. Everybody keeps going though. I don't believe there's a caution. Battle for that lead position. And we got cars getting together down the front straightaway. Bobby Justice hitting the wall very hard. I felt that all the way up here. We got a couple more cars getting together. There's Tom Garibrand. The Bobby Justice machine, that car is really badly damaged. We see him hitting. I think it's Max Gribble that goes over and turns one and two after hitting the Bobby Justice machine. Also, Max Gribble, Jr. And Justice is all right. He's moving around in the car. 
All right, it's Don Gregory Jr., Bob Sibola, with 23 laps completed. Third place is Jimmy Kidd, fourth is Mike Gillen, 75 Marcus Malkin, 10 Steve Scott, and then the four of Scott Dick, of Doc Dixon. So Steve Scott finally get around the Doc Dixon machine. White flag comes out, we got one more lap to go. That's the 21 of Buddy Townsend blowing an engine over in turn three. And you can see the smoke coming out of the headers. We just now got the caution flag as there is uh, oil or some sort of liquid out on the track from the Buddy Townsend machine. And you can see the smoke coming out of the headers. That car is done. It's Don Gregory Jr., Bob Sibola, Jimmy Kidd. Mike Gillen and Marcus Malkin. 26 laps now complete. Out of this 40 lap feature. So that leaves 14 laps. Hey, I went to Zenia City Schools. I know how to count. Not barely. All right, we're about ready to go back to green flag racing, and Don Gregory Jr. jumps on the gas in turn three, pulls out about a three-car length lead. The green flag comes out, and we're back to racing. Gregory Jr., your leader. Bob Sibler running in second. Jimmy Kidd. Mike Gillen. 75 Marcus Malkut and Steve Scott. Randy Ward looking for the high side of Steve Gillen. He turns one and two. Ward in the 08 machine. Gillen in the 50 machine. Also the three car of Doug Summers right there as Malkut. Scott battle side by side. And the leaders begin to close it up a little bit. Simpler pulls right up on the back bumper of the two of Don Gregory Jr. Sibla now right on the back bumper of Don Gregory Jr. We got car. Oh, and Randy Sword into the turn one wall very hard. And didn't quite see what precipitated that incident, but Gregory Jr. into the turn. One wall, extremely hard. Ward is, that's Ward is moving around in the car. The hands go up. He is okay. And uh, during the little break there, while they were cleaning up the cars, Randy Sward uh, looked like he wasn't none too happy with the fifth car, Steve Gilland. I don't know really what happened. My attention was elsewhere on the track, obviously. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but uh, the Steve Gillen machine and the Randy Sword machine getting together. And both cars are done for the day, I believe. Green flag comes back out. Randy Sword leads them down, and the two of Bob Silva runs second. Steve's 
Scott get together over in turn one. Gillen spins into the infield. Scott continues on. I don't know if we're going to have a caution flag or not, and I believe we do. Yes, we do. Caution is out. With 31 laps now complete, nine laps to go, it's Don Gregory Jr., Bob Sibyl, and Jimmy Kidd. The 05 of Mike Gillen. We'll have to see how they realign back up. Jimmy Kidd, and then the 75 of Marcus Malkut, and then the four of Doc Dixon now is your top five. As uh, Steve Scott and 05, Mike Gillen beats into the tail. Both cars, the spinner and the spinny, go to the tail. Green flag comes out, and we are back to racing. And Sibylla Jr. now, right on the back bumper of Don Gregory Jr. Can he get around? He's got about eight laps now to do it in, as 32 laps are now complete. Sibylla pulling right up on the back bumper of Don Gregory Jr. Looks to the high side, down the back straightaway. A little tap through turns three and four. Gregory slides high. Sibylla underneath. Gregory spins. And Caution is back out. And the replay. Look for yourself. Okay, that's the number one camera angle. We are now going to replay it once again. This is from the turn two area, our number two camera. And let's see what we think. Really hard to tell. And I'm not going to make a judgment call. It's there on the video. It's Whatever you think it might be, 33 laps now complete. Complete. The track officials, by the rules, both cars go to the tail. The two of Don Gregory Jr., the purple and white number two, and the red number two of Bob Sivilla, both go to the tail. The spinner and the spinny. Jimmy Kidd, now your leader with seven laps to go. Running in second is Marcus Malkin. Don Gregory Jr., not a happy man. Doc Dixon holds down that third position. And fourth is the 88 of Frank Parvin, last year's main event sportsman feature winner. The 54 car is behind him of Paul Miller. Now, Doc Dixon looks underneath Marcus Malkin down the front straightaway. As we got battling going all over the track, we got a car into the dirt there on the back straightaway. Can't quite tell who that is. That's Frank Parvin in the 88 machine. He's out. Last year's feature winner out of the race. Doug Summer sideways. He come out into four. Steve Scott right there in ten. They are able to capitalize. Five. Jimmy Kidd, your leader, and he's running away with it right now. Good battle back there for the fourth position. Excuse me, fifth position. Steve Scott on the outside. Doug Summers on the inside. Don Gregory Jr. right there behind both of those cars trying to get around. The 83 car of Ron right now runs in four. Jimmy Kidd still your leader. White flag is out for your leader, car number 25, Jimmy Kidd. Marcus Malkin holds down that second position. And your winner will be car number 25, Jimmy Kidd. 
75 of Marcus Malkin finishes second. The four of Doc Dixon finishes third. So the Columbus Gang brings home the win in the Sportsman feature. Jimmy Kidd, car number 25. In a moment, we'll be going down to the winner's circle and all the festivities and the interview with Chunky of Jimmy Kidd, your winner of the 1995 Main Event 8 Sportsman feature. I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that not only does Pinstro Productions videotape here at Columbus Motor Speedway each and every week, but at Kill Care Speedway, selected races at Winchester Speedway, and Kill Care Dragway for the Midwest's finest video racing series, Pinstroke Productions. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the Knuckles family for allowing us to videotape here at Columbus each and every week. And also, there's and there's Jimmy Kidd. Jimmy Kidd, your 1995 main event sports stock feature winner. Uh, over with Jeff, I'll get a chance to talk to Jimmy. I would also right, like to Jimmy take this opportunity to thank the Tilati family and Midvale Speedway for allowing us to videotape this fine event. I'll go ahead and give you the top of uh, the rundown, un the un unofficial finish at this point, so still checking it, but it appears that this is the finish. Jimmy Kidd, the winner. Marcus Malkwood coming home in second. Third was Doc Dixon. Paul Miller in car 54, your fourth place finisher. In fifth spot, car 86, Mike Holland. Car number 83 comes home in sixth position, the driver, Ron Reidenauer. In car 10, Steve Scott. Hey, Jeff, thank you. I'm with a very, very happy Jimmy kid. I just congratulated him. And, uh, Jimmy said he was, Jimmy admitted he wasn't running exactly up to speed or he wasn't running with the first two cars, but part of automobile racing is a race is it's never over until the checkered flag flies. There, there's nothing we haven't changed on this car this weekend. I got to thank Troy Smith. He told me to bolt 50 pounds on the left rear and we done it. And it just made the difference in night and day. But that's why they call me the professor. Take power down out of here, please. I put myself in a position to win. Somebody. Luckily, somebody let me down, and I you know, dropped down to the inside lane, and I just run there. I wasn't fast enough to win, but when that kind of stuff happens, you win. Thanks to all the crowd. Okay, again, how about a big, big round of applause for Jimmy Kidd. Congratulations, Jim. And also, thank you. Waterloo. <laughs> and now for the 100 lap main event 8 100 lap super late model race in a moment we'll be going down to Chunky for the official lineup as we are taking a group picture of all the drivers here and a fine looking field of drivers we have for you today for the main event 8 <laughs> By the way, one of the cars missing from the lineup so far is the 81 car of Don Wetnall, who had a spirited drive to a heat win last evening. How about, before we get started here, let's have a uh, one big, massive round of applause for all these drivers. They've come a long way, did a lot of hard work to get here. Certainly a field of cars that uh, the folks from Midville Speedway are certainly very proud of the, the, sh the turnout and the talent of the cars and teams here. In the number 49 car, we have Rich Desecker. The lone V6 car, field number 21 car, Gary St. Amad. Number 11 is Tim Felber. 30 car, Brian Bolt. Zero car, Donnie Hill. 101, Joe Bush. 29 machine of Roger Black. Mike Ward driving the 61 car. Danny Eve, the number nine machine. On 
Doring in need, 42 car. Scott Baker in the number four machine. Randy Maynard, the 39 car. I will not say fast, Freddie Campbell. Fred Campbell in the number 52 machine. Never say ready, Freddie. 25 car of Gary Carter. 83 top qualifier, Andy Bazell. 92, the only former winner in the field, Donnie Renner. 26, Bill Cantley. 53, Mike Miller. Number one car of Terry Humphrey. The number 11 car, Dick Dunleavy Jr. 65 machine of Timmy Ike. 86 car of Skip Thornton. The number two car of Dave Brandon. Bill one, Rich Roar. I just went through a bunch of work in the number 11 car, Chuck Silva. 59, Gary Whipkin. And the 88 car of Bill Magro. The other car that's not out there yet is Don Wetnall. Wetnall having his problems here this weekend, blowing an engine. I would like to take a moment. There's a gentleman that was uh, real helpful to me in getting this series started, running this race. He's in serious condition in the hospital. I'd like to take a second. I wish everybody would say their prayers for Mr. Marion Brooks. Hope for a speedy recovery. And send cards and letters to him. And we're really pulling for him. Okay, the last four words of the National Anthem brought to you by Mike from All Pro Automotive. Gentlemen, start your engine. And Pinstro Productions would like to echo the sentiments of Chris Tabati. Marion Brooks has been a supporter of racing for many, many years. Remember back in the 70s when I was just a young boy and going to the racetracks. Hoosier tires were the tires you bought, and in the Ohio and Indiana area, you bought them from Marion Brooks. We all love Marion very much, and we hope he gets well very, very soon. He is a very sick man. So send your cards and letters to Hoosier Tire. I believe he's at Mercy Hospital in Springfield. You can send your, your respects there. We got one lap to go to Brain. It's time to put away all the guessing and we're going to come down to it one lap and we'll be ready to go one corner and the green flag comes out and we are racing for 100 laps Felver 
run second as Nessica trapped on the outside. The car not handling out there and he keeps dropping back. Running in third now is the still look at the 25 car, but he's still smoking badly. of John Doring up there in turn number two right by the uh, 
signal light. 22 laps now complete. Gary St. Amant. Tim Felver. Your top two cars. Then it's Roger Black, Joe Bush, Rich Nesecker, and the 61 of Mike Ward, your top six. They're getting ready to go back to the green flag. We should get a green flag this time by the strike. Let's listen to the cars. Gary St. Amant battle side by side for the lead now. Falver on the outside. St. Amant on the inside. Down the back straightaway. Side by side. Coming into turns three and four. It's still St. Amant and Falver. Side by side for the lead. Now St. Amant with a slight advantage down the back straightaway. Falver pulls even into turns three and four. St. Amant slips. And Tim Felver, your leader. But we got problems in turn four. We got a couple cars spinning out. That's 39 of Randy Maynard Jr. ringing out the caution. Now, as is typical with short track racing, we will revert back a lap to the last completed green flag lap. There you saw it, to 24. That gives Gary St. Amant the lead and the inside line, 24 laps complete. We start double file for the first 25 laps. So, Gary St. Amant getting the inside position on this restart. Tim Velver on the outside. They pick up the throttle through turns three and four. Green flag flies and we are back to racing. Velver, slight advantage as he goes through turns one and two, but St. Amant battles back. Now Tim Velver, car number 11, your leader. St. Amant battles back into turns three and four, but Velver brings it around captures the lead that time by the strike. 25 laps now complete from this point on it's single file restarts. As we are still side by side for the lead as St. Mont keeps battling back with Tim Felver in the 11 car. Felver, winner last week of the Mudslinger 100 in Flint, Michigan. And we got a car stopped up in turn Four, once again, I believe that's the 39 of Randy Maynard Jr. Maynard Field felt that he needed a caution, so he pulls up to the high side and he gets his caution. One lap to go. Tim Felver, your leader. 21 of Gary St. Amant runs in second. Third place goes to the 29 of Roger Black. Fourth is Joe Bush. Fifth is Mike Ward. And the sixth place position is the four of Scott Baker. 52 Fred Kimmel runs at sixth at the moment. Tim Felver, your leader, and he's got a, about a two car length advantage on the 21 machine. On the month swing of 100, he, he led the last 55 laps of that 100 lap race. So, this man, no stranger to being out on the track for a good long time. Still your leader in the 11 cars. We got a car going through the infield once again. Didn't quite catch who that was. As the car kicked up some dirt. Also, somebody pulling into the infield on the back stretch. I believe that's the 25 of Gary Carter once again. Carter using one of those cautions to go back to the pits and try to fix his problem. Evidently, they did not. And we got car spinning once again. It's the 39 of Randy Maynard Jr. I believe he made contact with the 11 of Chuck Silva. Ooh, yes. Silva and Maynard got together.
together, most definitely. One lap to go, we'll be back to green flag racing once again. It's Tim Salford, your leader. 21, Gary St. Amon, 29, Roger Black, and the 101, a Joe Bush. Mike Ward and the four of Scott Baker. Felber now with about a 10 car length lead down the back straight away. slow down the front straight away it's the 11 of Tim Felber your leader is slow it turns one and two Tim Felber looked to be running away with it now the car is stalled out in turn two Gary St. Amon picks up the lead and here's a replay don't know what happened Felber here to just lose power. And that's it for Tim Felber. Now Gary St. Amant, your leader once again. Your second place car is the 29 of Roger Black. Joe Bush is now third. Then Scott Baker in fifth. Green flag comes back out. your leader running in second distant second is the 29 of Roger Black 101 Joe Bush right on his back bumper Bush now looking to the inside down the front straightaway 61 Mike Ward right there in fourth car of Tim Felber back out on the track at the tail of the pack. I think he might be a few laps down, but I'm not sure on that. Tough luck for Tim Felber as he was leading this race and running away with it and having that problem. Got another car with a problem. That's the 86 of Skip Thornton. Looks like another blown motor. And smoke is trailing from that car also. No caution. As the 21 of Gary St. Amant has it all to himself. However, with Tim Felber, we saw how fate can change for a driver real quick. Good battle for that second position between Roger Black and Joe Bush.
definitely becoming of national import as we got cars spinning out in the infield. And the caution comes out. We've got uh, cars like the 29 of uh, Roger Black. Roger Hales from right here in Ohio, northern Ohio. We've got uh, Tim Felver from Owasso, Michigan. Scott Wimmer, the 25 car who we saw earlier, is from Walsall, Wisconsin. Andy Bozell, fast qualifier, hails from Portage, Michigan. Joe Bush is from Hastings, Michigan. And the caution comes back out as the car of Bill Cantley comes back out on the track and almost right in front of the leaders. Once again, the green flag will come out. One, excuse me, one lap. Your leader is Gary St. Amant. Roger Black runs second, Joe Bush third, Mike Ward fourth. Fifth is Scott Baker. 52 of Fred Campbell runs sixth. Seventh into 30. Seventh is the 30 car of Brian Bolt. Scott Baker and Freddie Campbell. As once again, Gary St. Amant runs away with it. Roger Black runs in second. 101 Joe Bush runs in third. 61 of Mike Ward runs fourth. Fred Campbell looking to the high side of Scott Baker. Two turns three and four. And once again to the high side of Scott Baker. Red Campbell piloting the 52 machine, the car normally, and we got a car spinning into the infield, taking the checkered flag with it, and that's the two of Dave Brandenburg as the caution flies once again. Uh, Brandenburg not real happy. Green flag will come out in one more lap, as I was about to say, the 52 car is driven by Fred Campbell this weekend, that car normally driven by Butch Miller. But Miller had other commitments with the NASCAR Super Truck Race in Martinsville, which rained out last night. He had plans on coming up here tonight, but they're going to run it Monday morning, so he was stuck in Martinsville. So Fred Campbell taking over the driving duties of the 52 machine. The green flag comes back out. We are back to racing. It's Gary St. Mott. Roger Black, 101. Joe Bush. 61 Mike Ward, 4 Scott Baker, 52 of Freddie Campbell, and the 9 car of Danny Eves. Now 
Mike Ward looks to the inside of Joe Bush. Once again to the inside, coming out of turns three and four. Back into turns one and two. Now Bush gets around the Mike Ward machine. He'll set his sights on the 29. Excuse me. He'll set his sights on the 29 of Roger Black. Campbell now looking to the high side of Scott Baker down the front straightaway. Baker having a good run today, as is Freddie Campbell on the 52 machine. And the man really having a good run today is the 21 of Gary St. Amand. Roger Black still runs in second. Ward still looking for a way around the Joe Bush machine. Now Bush looks to the high side of Roger Black through turns three and four. We got a three car battle for second now. It's Roger Black, Joe Bush, Mike Ward battling for that second position as Gary St. Amant has checked out in the 21 machine. Bush to the high side of Roger Black. They're side by side going through turns three and four. Roger Black on the inside. Joe Bush on the outside. And now Joe Bush, car number 101, runs second. Roger Black runs third. And Mike Ward right there in fourth. Ward now looking to the high side of Black. As we look at the leader, Gary St. Amant. Mike Ward to the high side of Roger Black. And now Mike Ward runs in third as we got cars spinning out over in turn one. That's the 59 of Gary Wipke. Seven laps now complete. It's the 21 of Gary St. Amant, the 01, or the 101 of Joe Bush, 61 Mike Ward, actually 29 of Roger Black, reverting back to the previous green flag lap. Then the 61 of Mike Ward, then the four of Scott Baker, 52 Freddie Campbell, 49 Rich Desker, 30 is Brian Bolt. back to racing. Mike Ward looking to the high side of Roger Black once again as Joe Bush tries to keep the leader, car number 21, Gary Samont, in his clutches. Black once again 
And we got a car spinning out. That's the 83 car of Andy Bozell, your fast qualifier here today. He spins out. Looks like he tagged the wall. Four laps now complete. Gary St. Amant, your leader. And there's a fan of racing. Looks like a very happy fan. Alrighty, the white flag comes out. We should get a green flag next time by the stripe. It's Gary St. Amant in the 21 machine. 101 is Joe Bush. 29, Roger Black, 61, Mike Ward, 4 is Scott Baker. comes out and we are back to racing. And we got a car slow in turns one and two once again. It's the 83 of Andy Bozell, your fast qualifier. 75 laps now complete and we're gonna have to go back to caution. Gary St. Amant, Joe Bush, Roger Black, Mike Ward, and Scott Baker, your top five. Then Freddie Campbell, Rich Desiker, Brian Colt. Bush runs in second. 29, Roger Black, 61, Mike Ward. side of Scott Baker. And we got another car off the pace. That's the 26 of Bill Canley. Canley having his problems here. Usually Canley has a fine showing, but he's having his problems here today. Car getting off the track a little bit into the dirt. I believe that was the 52 of Freddie Campbell. 83 laps now complete as I kind of get glimpse of the board that time by. It's still Gary St. Amant, your leader. Joe Bush, Roger Black, and Mike Ward rounds out your top four. A little bit of space now to the four of Scott Baker. Once again, the 52 of Freddie Campbell looks to the high side. And it may have been Baker that went through the infield just a little bit, a few laps ago. Not quite sure there. 
52 of Freddie Campbell now. Scott Baker, they're side by side. Now Campbell with a slight advantage in turns three and four. And now Freddie Campbell, your leader, Scott Baker. Drops back to the fifth position, I believe. That was for fourth. That was for fourth. Yes. No doubt about your leader, car number 21, Gary St. Amand. Running in second is still the Joe Bush machine. As the laps wind down, 90 laps now complete. 10 more laps to go. With your leader, Gary St. Amand, the man who saved Tim Felder that has led this entire race. Tim Felder leading it, looking strong there for a few laps. Dropping back. Not quite sure what happened to him. Mike Ward now looks to the high side of Roger Black, your third place car. As that on the track here is the 21 and 61 car, 29 and 61 cars, Roger Black and Mike Ward. Slow. That's the 61 of Mike Ward. And we can see the trail of oil around the top side of the track. Mike Ward and a very rare engine blow. Mike Ward, known for having real good, real strong equipment that lasts and lasts for a good long time and long races. With just five more laps to go in this race, Mike Ward loses an engine. We got Mike Ward off the track, we got the track cleaned up, and we're ready to go racing for five more laps. Does Joe Bush have anything for Gary St. Amand? Roger Black now runs third. 52 of Fred Campbell fourth, 49 of Rich Desecker in the fifth position, and then the 30 of John, of Brian Volk, excuse me. Flag back out, and we are racing for five more laps. Freddie Campbell looks to the high side of Roger Black, who turns three and four. Campbell running in that fourth position, not happy with it, once third. Now Donnie Renner gets around Terry Humphrey. And Joe Bush appears to be slowing a little bit as Roger Black and Freddie Campbell pull right up on his back bumper. Gary St. Amand running away with it. The 29 of Roger Black on the inside. The 52 of Freddie Campbell on the outside. And now Campbell with the advantage. Freddie Campbell, car number 52, runs third. He'll set his sights on the 101 of Joe Bush. But does he have enough time as the white flag is out? One more lap to go for your leader, car number 21. Gary St. Amant. Joe Bush runs in second. Freddie Campbell runs third. Roger Black runs fourth. And that's just how they'll finish. One, two, three, and four. Finishing fifth is the 30, I believe, of Brian Volk, but I'm not sure on that. No doubt about your winner, car number 21, as the two of Dave Brandenburg spins out one last time over in turn four. Car number 21, Gary St. Amant, your winner. Sandman keeping the tradition of never having a repeat winner in the main event. Eight events and eight different winners with the possible exception of the car owner. Jim Burke winning this event before with John Vallo, John Vallo at the helm. Vallo, of course,
course, taking home the honors in 1993 for main event six in the Burko Trucking car number 21. And there he is, car number 21, Gary St. Amant. He gets his congratulations from Chris Talati. And we're going to go down for the winner circle in just a minute with Chunky. Well, uh, you know, the, the 21 car was off the fast today. Uh, you know, Jim and the, all the guys, you know, that they, what, what can I say? I mean, they put a, a top-notch uh, first-class race car on the track every time we race it. It was the best of the day. Well, you've been here before, and uh, hold on a here. You've been here before. You got snake bit a couple times in this race, but today the monkey was off your back. Yeah, you know, it's always uh, starting the year out, and, you know, we run a lot of big races during the year, but it's seems like uh, the two biggest races I look forward to during the year is the main event and uh, the ASA race at Anderson. And, you know, we've come close to winning those, both of those races, uh, you know, a number of times, and we finally got us one here. So you go to Anderson and do it again, and you have yeah, a super year. Yeah, you know, uh, looking real forward to racing the 11 car at Shady Bull. Uh, he had a fast car here today, and it's a shame he had problems. He'd have been, he'd have been tough to beat, but uh, looking forward to racing with him, and, you know, just really happy we could win today. Where's Jim at? Where's the actual Jim? Jim Burke, car owner. Come here, Jim. Coming up now to talk in the winner's circle. The car owners always run their mouth and give a microphone and can get Jim, congratulations. You're the first guy to repeat winner as a car owner. What do you have to say about our team and everything? Well, that's got a great crew. These guys work very hard. Most of the time, the crew don't get the recognition they need on these short track races. These guys put a lot of hours and a lot of time getting the car ready. And Gary's car, the car was right for Gary. Worked with them a little bit and just dialed it right in. Did a great job. And again, congratulations, Jim Burko and the Burko team. Uh, I'm something we want to probably thank on the car. Go ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, uh, definitely had to thank Cornet Engines. Uh, you know, they built the, the V6 that we ran here today. Super strong engine. And, uh, you know, got to thank uh, Hoosier Tires. and. You know, really, uh, really wish Mary and Brooks a speedy recovery. You know, we're all thinking about him, all praying for him. And, uh, you know, Burko Trucking, Jimmy Burke, you know, best race car uh, best race car around here, I'll tell you that. Yeah, today for sure. We got a little, got a little trophy here for you, Gary. All right. Uh, Gary St. Amant, the winner of Main Event 8. I'm Nate Pennington. And for everybody from Pinstroke Productions... I'd like to thank you for purchasing this Pinstroke Productions videotape, and we will see you next season right here at the track.